Darren Levina Media Hello here, and I got a little uh, clamp to show you. It's a very simple device, but it's very useful. It only costs about 10 bucks. And this little sucker, aside from those little rubber inserts, is all metal. Now, you might think, well, what do I need this little clamp for? I got tripods and other type of stuff. Well, sometimes you come across surfaces which clamps can be really useful for, such as if you want to get a camera or a lighter, a microphone or something up really high, and you see there's no practical way to get up there, but you see that there's maybe a pipe or some little obstruction, uh, not obstruction, but protrusion that this thing can get around. And yes, the bird wants to say hello. Come here. No, you don't want to say hello? Okay, cool. So this thing can get around pretty beefy things. As you can see, it goes all the way down, a little like that. But And you can see it's got a little bit of a curve, so it works well on curved surfaces like pipes. But it also works well on flat surfaces too. One thing I did do is I trimmed a little bit of the rubber off the edge so you can get a nice two point of or four point of contact on a flat surface. Now how wide does it open? Oops, sorry, wrong finger. Well, let's see, here's my ruler and it can open up to right about, I'll try to do this for you and look in the camera. So it looks like under two inches, what is that? I can't even see one. Yeah, so, you know, one and, a, one and three quarters inches it can get around. Now, like I said, it is all metal. You can see there it's got the one nice thread going through the whole thing. You cannot go too far. It won't let you open it past its uh, ability. And the way you connect stuff to it are either a three-eighths inch thread tap or a quarter inch thread tap. So typically I'll throw in my camera bag along with a mini magic arm and just screw it on. It always takes a moment. And now you can attach just about anything there and position it however you might like. So that's pretty cool. One other thing I have which I'll use in this is just uh, mail to mail thread adapters which you know they just make it so it's then a, uh, a little thread like this sticking out and you can put a stud adapter for lights or other type of grip stuff or even just put a little, little ball head on there. I mean you really could throw anything you want in here. Throw even a full fluid head if you so choose but obviously you don't want to go overboard with it and you want to make sure that you're clamping very securely and also make sure you're not clamping and destroying what you're clamping because of course with this leverage, this little bar, you can crank it down pretty darn tightly so if you're clamping onto wood or something soft be careful be wary of other people's personal belongings or your own personal belongings because you don't want to damage stuff but that is about it for this super mini clamp and i'll of course uh link you there are many other types of clamps a lot of them are plastic the reason i like this one is because again it is completely metal except for the rubber inserts and that is why I've gotten this one over some other ones but there are other ones that are a little bit better for different types of surfaces such as flat versus round even though this one does both pretty well but there's other ones that can grip around much larger surfaces or grip much uh, more securely in certain circumstances but this one's great to just have in your bag at all times I've actually used it went to the top of Rockefeller Center the top of the rock and they don't allow tripods up there so I figured, well, I'll probably be able to find something to clamp onto. And sure enough, there was some great thick metal architecturally type stuff that I was able to clamp onto beautifully and got some nice long time lapses because of it. So that is Darren Living for the Super Mini Clamp. And of course, if I wanted to be cheesy about it, I could just go and, uh, let's see, clamp my face.